Okay, hi there and welcome to a microeconomics video taking a look at two applied examples of the important concept of opportunity cost. Opportunity cost measures the cost of the choices that we inevitably have to make because of scarcity in terms of the next best alternatives that we may have to sacrifice. Essentially, opportunity cost describes those trade-offs, those key, oftentimes, dilemmas that we have to make in a world of scarcity. Satisfying one objective more means that you, you may achieve another objective less, less resources available to produce other goods and services. I'm going to take you through two applied examples uh, to help reinforce the concept. The first is your choice of coffee. Let's say, for example, you're choosing between uh, heading to Starbucks for an espresso with an extra shot or two and taking a cup of instant coffee at home through a Nescafe jar and a kettle. Well, let's assume that the Starbucks price is £3 per cup and my working assumption is that a cup, of, a cup of Nescafe instant costs you, let's say, 15p per cup from the jar. In this case, the opportunity cost of spending £3 on a Starbucks espresso is not the three pounds you've given up, but it's the giving up 20 cups of instant coffee. In that sense, Starbucks looks actually pretty expensive, doesn't it? However, of course, the key thing is how we frame a choice does influence our decisions, does influence the choices and behaviors that we make. Let me throw in a third choice here, for example. So let's assume that uh, Nescafe is 15p per cup, Starbucks is three pounds per cup, but that the cup of Nespresso coffee from a machine is, let's say, 50p per, per pod used. Now, the opportunity cost of buying a Starbucks espresso might now be measured, be, be reframed by another alternative, namely giving up six cups of Nespresso pods. How you frame the opportunity cost does influence the choice. Many people actually regard Nespresso as expensive. Those pods, 50p per pod, that looks like a pretty expensive way of making a cup of coffee at home. But actually, if the frame of reference for you is Nescafe Instant, it is very expensive. However, if the frame of reference is Starbucks, those Nespresso cards actually look pretty decent value. In fact, you might argue they're practically giving them away at 50p per pod. Let's move to my second example, which is the NHS cost of treatment. Now, the National Health Service in the UK actually has a toolbox of over 2,300 surgeries that they perform across their hospital network, with different hospitals uh, specialising in different procedures. I've taken a selection here of the costs of a range of procedures from that 2,300 total. And you can see that some procedures are extremely expensive. The heart sur complex heart surgery, more than £22,000. Brain surgery on children under the age of 18 costs over £40,000 to provide. Bilateral cochlear implants are also very expensive. Other procedures cost less. And therefore we can think about the opportunity cost in terms of uh, these treatments. For example, uh, if we take a limited budget in the NHS, if you allocate more resources to one treatment, that may mean that there is less available to provide other NHS treatments. People may have to go, for example, onto a waiting list. Here's a good example. The opportunity cost of one extra hip replacement is not £5,400, but we could express it as the funds providing cataract surgery for six people. That's how we would express the opportunity cost in this case. Not in terms of pounds and pence, but in terms of the opportunity given up to provide alternative services to patients. If you want to take uh, more notes and things from our website, the Tutors Your website is packed full of economics resources, well worth a look. Micro, macro, domestic, international, a huge amount of resources there for you to check out. Thank you.